hey guys welcome back to automation elearn i'm your friend suresh dubey and in this video i will show you how to create a new branch without executing any git command guys this is bit tricky question before that i have already discussed lot many other concepts and topics in git so you can refer this playlist on my youtube channel to learn lot many other things and concepts related to git to discuss today's topic i am referring test project and currently i am on master branch and here we can execute git branch command to check what are the other branches that we have available at the moment in test repository so here we have a master feature 1 and feature 2 and here if i'll execute git branch and uh, we have to give name of the branch for example let's create a test so i want to create a new branch with the name as a test so currently i am on master branch so new branch test will be created from master and uh, if i'll check branch now so here we have test branch available so this is the normal way of creating a new branch but in this video let's see how we can achieve the same thing without executing any command like this so there is a dot git folder available at the root of the project go to dot git and here we have to go to refs folder and heads so heads folder is the one which contains all the details about the branches available in this repository so currently we have a master branch feature 1 2 3 and test branch and here we can see under heads folder we have a branch file with respect to each branches that we have currently in test repository guys i have already discussed all these concepts about head file what is this location for refs heads and branch file in detail in this video so please do watch this video to understand lot many other concepts in git in this video we just have to refer heads folder to create a new branch so here what we can do is we can create one more file by copying any one of these files please note if we will create a blank new file then it will not work because branch file these files should have a valid commit id if i'll open any one of this file and see feature 1 is referring to one commit id and same for feature 2 as well so if we will create a brand new file over here blank file then it will not be considered as a git branch so here we also need a valid commit id for our new branch right so we can copy one of the existing file and create a new branch out of it so let's copy feature 1 and we can rename it to feature 4 for example and here on the console if i'll check git branch then see here we have a feature 4 available earlier feature 4 was not available but we created a new branch by copying one of the existing file under heads folder and now feature 4 is available that we can see on the console and uh, we can use git checkout feature 4 to check out feature 4 and from here onwards whatever action whatever work we will do that will be done as a part of feature 4 and we can also cross check let's open feature 4 file and see it's referring to valid commit id because we created feature 4 from feature 1 so the thing is if you have a file here under heads folder then that file should refer to one valid commit id so this is how we can create a new branch without executing any commands we have not executed any command like this to create feature 4 however i want to highlight this that this is not the right way of doing this this can be trick to create a new branch but we should be very careful and we should not update anything manually in dot git folder because we may end up damaging it repository if something went wrong that's all for this video guys let me know in case of any questions or any doubts if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you